Hi, so we're here now with the Burgess Munro 2. Why it's the second version, I don't know. Um, again, it's one of those products that has been around for decades, um, easily 90s. Um, so interestingly, it's also one of the day sacks or one of the pieces of kit that you find guys using and girls using that is probably the most modified kit on the market. So a lot of people will buy this and then they'll send it off to a tailor to get certain things tweaked on it um, to make it that little bit more useful for operational environments so that you um, get better access to kit or you can carry more kit and things. Um, but this is the tried and tested Berghaus Munro. Um, Will, do you want to take us through some of the some of the features? Yeah, sure. So the Munro is the top loader, so access through these two buckles here, and then it's one single compartment going straight down into the pack. What's quite nice about the pack is that overall length is actually quite short. So again, when you're wearing it in conjunction with the shooter's belt or webbing, it's not going to um, interact with that too much. So if you're on, in a prone position, it's not going to go up too high and uh, hit you in the back of the helmet. You've also got webbing along the front and then you've got a huge amount of adjustability. So if you're top backing anything, then you've got a lot of webbing there to play around with. And then also compression straps on the side. And then on the back, it's a fixed back system. But, and, but pretty clean um, and again just offers um, a good amount of, sort of padding uh, for any kit that you've got on the back so it's not um, impinging on, on your back. So some of the um, modifications that you see most people making to their kit are they'll take out the elastic um, from the top flap which just gives you the ability to cinch it down even further and just get away from the elasticity of it, it's not really needed. Um, the other thing that you see them doing is putting sort of mesh panels down through the side underneath these um, side compression straps so that you can shove bits of kit into there if you need it, radios, etc. could go uh, in those mesh panels. Moving on to the back system, what you see people doing, one of, the, one of the problems with this bag is that the shoulder straps are quite tight up at the top. So if you're hench, then it actually starts to pull, obviously not a problem I have, but it starts to pull on the um, around your neck area. So some of the modifications is they widen out the uh, shoulder straps up at the top and some people then replace this back panel to be a mesh back panel. Um, and most people are more than capable of cutting off the webbing for the belt strap themselves. Uh, but that's some of the modifications that, uh, that people make. If you're interested in getting um, the Munro and getting it modified, then we know some really good tailors that can, um, can do that equally. Let us know if you're interested. We might start selling modified versions of this already, so you can buy it directly from Brigantes Modified. Um, but again, another tried and tested piece of kit um, the Brigantes, not the Brigantes, the Berghaus Monroe 2.